Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you what's happening in WordPress 6.6, .6, including the new features of the WordPress nightly build and the changes coming to WordPress 6.6. .6. I will compare these with the old or current standard version, WordPress 6.5, sharing all the changes one by one. First, let's look at the WordPress 6.6 .6 nightly build. Here is the current screen. Also, please stay tuned until the end of the video, where I will show you how to get involved in discussions and share your feedback or suggestions on these new features and options. We will start with the significant changes in the post-publishing workflow. Let's edit a post in the WordPress nightly build. You can preview the metadata of the post. There are multiple changes happening. First, let's compare this post metadata with the standard WordPress version, 6.5. You may notice that in the current version, the post metadata section UI appears to be quite different. Now, let's again go back to WordPress Nightly 6.6 .6 to see the changes. The metadata section starts with the quill icon and post title. The featured image button has been moved from the bottom to the top section, making it a higher priority. This change was suggested by multiple users, as the featured image is a crucial part of a blog post. Next, we have the excerpt part. When you click on it, a new layout opens where you can enter your post excerpt. This is also a nice change. In the current WordPress version, the featured image and excerpt are at the end, so users might forget to attach them. Moving them to the top addresses this issue. Additionally, we have the word count and red time displayed. In current WordPress, this was available in the outline section. In the new nightly build, it is also in the metadata section, helping writers make necessary decisions. Now, let's look at the publish post status section. There are multiple changes, such as some design changes. There are various status options like draft, pending, private, etc. and the actions performed are based on the selection. The password protected option is also available here. In the current WordPress version, the layout for these actions are different. There is a minor word change for this link text. In the current version, it is URL and now it has been updated to link. This author's selection is the same. Next is the template section, where you can edit template, swap template, create template, or show templates. In the standard version, it is similar, but with minor changes in wording. The sticky button option has changed from a checkbox in the current version to a toggle button in the nightly build. The category and tag sections remain the same as in the current WordPress version. There are no changes. All right, so now let's look into the site editor changes. We will go to the appearance section and click on editor. In the site editor, let's check out the style section. In this section, we have the default layout for changing styles, which is also available in the current version. Additionally, the new palette section is available in the WordPress nightly build. You can select any color palette and change the theme layout. Whatever color palette you select, it will apply that colors for your entire site. Next, we have the global typography section, where you can set the typography for your entire site. Simply select your required typography, save the changes, and it will be applied across the site. Comparing this with the current version, WordPress 6.5, we can see that in the theme editor style section, only the color section is available without palettes or typography options. Now, let's move back to the WordPress nightly build and look into the site pages section. The new layout includes new filter options, allowing you to filter pages by status such as published, scheduled, draft, private, trash, or all statuses. You can also edit templates by clicking the edit icon. When you click on the edit icon, the selected page will come into focus for editing. In the current version of WordPress, the page section does not offer status-based filtering options. It displays the pages directly without any filters. Next, let's examine the templates section in WordPress Nightly. It has a different layout, 
allowing you to list and review all page templates, take actions like editing, and review designs directly from the template section. Here at the top, you have various filter options available. You can modify the layout, sort by filter, etc. In that, this layout is the newly added option. You have the option to see templates listings in table, grid, or list layout. In the current WordPress version 6.5, templates are displayed in a panel without the option to preview designs or change the layout style. Now, let's look into the Patterns section in the WordPress Nightly Build. The patterns are now categorized at the top with subcategories available. This makes it easier to review header patterns, footer patterns, and other template parts. As we have seen in template parts, there are also two layout options available to select in patterns. We can preview patterns in the table and grid layout. Let's click on the table layout option to view the patterns in a table format. In the current WordPress version, all patterns are displayed in a grid layout without any other layout options for filtering. So, yes, these are the new features and changes in WordPress Nightly 6.6. Many of these features might be included in the final release, while some might be moved to future updates due to time constraints and feature importance. And finally, if we take a look at the WordPress Gutenberg GitHub repo, you can see the active development and discussions happening now. They are focused on improving the flow of pages and posts, statuses, and other features I mentioned earlier in the video. You can see the real-time behaviors being discussed and tested by users selecting these options. If you find any topics particularly interesting or have strong opinions, you can join the discussion and share your views directly with the core developers working on this component of WordPress. Alternatively, you can read through the discussions to see how ideas are exchanged, how they tag each other, and bring in expertise from other developers and designers for a well-rounded discussion. I like to say, don't wait to complain after the changes are implemented. Even if you might not like a change, such as different wording or UI updates, it's important to get up to speed on it now. That's why I'm creating this video today. You can see these changes happening in real time and be prepared for them. You also know where to go if you want to join the conversation or simply read up on how these decisions are made. That's it for today's video. For premium plugin and unparalleled support visit the.store.com. Thank you for watching.